Do you remember the video from September 2024 where we asked the question with Valtra and Vatistat, how can we use precision maps for cultivation? The results from the huge field tests were at Agritechnica 2025 show for the public. Here we stand at the Vatistat booth at Agritechnica and you have some interesting test results to show us. That's correct, Morten. Uh, and today I'm here uh, with uh, Carolina here at the Vetterstad booth and I'm representing Valtra today because we did a study with the Valtra Q305 and we used the uh, Vetterstad uh, top-down with the E-series service on extra here and we did the variable depth study and we're actually presenting some results here. And Carolina, you can just uh, made a very nice display here. Yeah, it's super nice to be here after uh, establishing and harvesting also um, the trial we did in Denmark. And um, actually the good thing is we have some nice foundings from there. We figured out a uh, very variable depth tillage really matters. And we luckily can see that our hypothesis is about low intensity, medium intensity, high intensity, Intensity and the very high intensity are really also we can transfer to results in the end of the day. For the high, high int intensity and the medium intensity in the heavier soils, which we have presented in here, we see a yield difference um, between when we are adding on the packer pressure. When we would like to continue the trial, we definitely need to see is the packer pressure or also transferring it different to uh, the medium um, setup. But that's the next step. First, we wanted to figure out are the um, research which already had been done further on, what we can see or read in many uh, different books, is really transferable to real life farming. And yes, also in the light soils, we see some differences. It doesn't matter from a yield perspective if we go in high intensity or in a medium intensity. Light soil in this case means lighter soil. We haven't really been in very light conditions. Um, and even if we harvest the same, doesn't matter about how deep we are going. We are saving fuel in here up to five liters and we also see that as soon as you start to go with the very high, which you would like prefer when you look to the results from the heavy zones, we are limiting the yield because of the packer pressure. So luckily we can go forward with this and uh, it's very interesting findings. Also adding on that when we go in the medium intensity, we can make an hectare extra an hour, which is a nice uh, add-on. But handing over to you with some more foundings we got. Yeah, and I think, thank you, Koli. I think it's interesting that some of the things that we found, actually, and we've divided into the heavy and the light soils, that exactly this purpose of the study, in order to give you, as a farmer, some tools to make these kind of maps that you have to create in order to have these variable depth tillage maps, because you have to set the centimeters up. And I think this is some of the results that we find in this study a starting point for you. One of the things that we also looked a little bit into soil movement. There's a direct linear correlation between what we found of fuel consumption and the soil movement. And the one where we have the lowest soil movement, we, we, we moved about 1,000 tons per hectare of soil. That is the lowest. When we went to the heavy and in the deep soil, we moved 7,700 tons of soil per hectare. So seven times higher soil movement of mass. Think of that. But of course, that comes at a cost and that is the fuel cost. And I think that's interesting, just as I mentioned here. But some of our final uh, conclusion, we'll just come into them here now, Carolina. Important thing for you farmer to uh, think about is that the soil movement in the top layer of the soil is important for getting the plant emergence. So if you do, do too little or too shallow tillage, you are actually having a risk of a lower plant population. So that's a definitely a finding here. Going too shallow can be a risk. But as Carolyn also mentioned before, going very deep can also 
means that you're just burning a lot of fuel and take time, but you do not any see any yield impact. So we, I think definitely we can say that we have a starting point for you to make maps so that you can use your beta story tools that do variable depth tools. That's the E-series that you have yeah. now on the top down and I believe also the carrier can do that or no, not yet? Not yet, but the Opus is equipped for yes. E-service as well. And as we can see in this field study, we found an easy way of testing e-service functions in the field and creating maps for the future. For you, this field study is a nice tool you can copy with your tillage implement and just get some clue about what could this make for me in the future. Is it really worth it to invest in such a, uh, such a tool like the top-down e-service working from now on with application map tillage or is my soil maybe very even and I would uh, more profit from the functions if there is a wet year and I have like a wet spot in there where I would like to pre-plan that um, we are not going that deep and have a control when I lift the machine that all the other setups are following. And here in the end, just, we're just uh, finishing off now. <clears throat> Two things I wanted to say is that important also to get the right ballast on the tractor. We use the, the Valtra here, Q305 for pulling the top down in the plot. Had a very good uh, fuel efficiency and also fuel efficiency. And now I think that was important because we got the CVT transmission right there. But also think of this farmers, as you set up some of your tillage tools that have multiple gangs of tillage tools. So if you have one front disc row, and tines behind as the top down will have set the first movement the first depth as two-thirds of the maximum depth that you want to achieve that is a very good starting point for having an efficient and a good quality in your tillage operation